everyone, so I thought I would come on here and show you guys my MAC paint pot collection. I thought this would be a good video to do because I haven't seen too many people show their paint pot, so I thought, well, maybe this would give you guys a good idea on your next paint pot purchase, or if you just want to see a little bit more what they are like. I also have a ton of Maybelline color tattoos. If you want to see that video, I can do that too. But let's just start off with, the, I'm just going to grab them at random. This color is called Rubenesque, and this is a beautiful golden peach color. It is absolutely beautiful, and it's so creamy. And it is just so, oh, it's just stunning. Just a nice peachy golden bronze color with just a hint of bronze in it. So I absolutely love this one and again this one is called Rubenesque. The next one I have is called Perky and this is again part of their permanent collection and it's a really pretty pink color and this is a matte formula. The other one was kind of more of like had like a sheen to it a little bit. Some of the paint pots do have sheen, some have glitter. Um, I kind of like just the ones that are matte. So here's Perky and Perky is just a really pretty pink color and this color looks so pretty over the MAC um, color Star Violet. It's absolutely stunning. So that is Perky. The next paint pot that I have um, is called Utterly Becoming and I got this paint pot in my um, holiday kit that I got this year and I'm not sure if this is just a limited edition paint pot or not but this is a kind of like a brownish pink and I really think this color would be great for a brown smoky eye or this could be a replacement I think for painterly for darker skinned women because this is more of a dark tone to it so it is just a really pretty brownish it's kind of looks like um, texture kind of looks like texture a little bit the eyeshadow and there again it's really creamy and I got this in my holiday kit the next one I have is called camel coat and I absolutely love this one and it is just a really pretty camel color. They kind of nailed that one on the head. And it is the color of a camel. It's kind of a grayish brown color. And I think this is really, this is so pretty in the crease with um, a this color right here is so pretty in the crease when I use my Naked Basics palette and I use Faint or Naked 1 or Naked 2, one of those colors, but it just looks so nice and it's really easily blendable and it stays put all day, just like all of them, you know, they, they are pro long wear. The next one I have is called Clear Water, and this is just a beautiful sea foam green, and I love this one so much. It is so beautiful. I like to put this, um, you know, with green shadows, but I have a NARS Duo in Habanera, I believe it's called, a Habarat, I don't know, but it's, um, I do have a tutorial on it. It's kind of like a minty color, and then it has like a taupe purple, so it's, this is a great paint pot for that duo, and this is again just a really pretty seafoam green, and that's called Clearwater. The next paint pot that I have is the infamous Painterly Paint Pot, which mine is almost gone, and this again is just a beautiful, it's kind of like camel coat a little bit now that I'm swatching it it's really close but it's a more of a nude 
on the eye. It's really pretty, goes with basically any skin tone, really brightens the look of any eyeshadow you put on top of it. And then I have Soft Ochre, which is a really nice yellow-based paint pot, and this is matte as well. All of them are matte except Rubenesque. And this one is really great for light skin tones, I think, or if you just want to make your eyeshadow pop. It's just a really nice yellow color, and Maybelline has those limited edition ones, so you better go out and get you some. Um, that it's really close to this color, and I love Soft Ochre. It is one of my favorites. And then this one is probably my all-time favorite, and it is Stormy Pink. Stormy Pink is a beautiful purple taupe color. This looks gorgeous over satin taupe. Oh my goodness. This is a unique color. I love it. And I just don't think there's no dupes for it. It is just absolutely beautiful. So it's this really beautiful purplish taupe color and it's matte. But again, I don't think that there's anything like it and highly recommend Stormy Pink. The last one that I have is Constructivist and this is like the formula of Rubenesque. This is a beautiful bronzed brown and this would look great over Half Baked by Urban Decay um, or Woodwinked. This is like just a beautiful dark brown with bronze in it. And it's so creamy and it's it's like a satin finish. This and Rubenesque I say would are satin finishes so absolutely love this and I highly recommend that one too. I like love all of my paint pots and I love them all and I use them more than I use my Maybelline color tattoos. I find that they go on a lot easier and um, I don't know, I just really am a fan of the paint pots. I do like the Maybelline tattoos though too and um, I have a few that I absolutely love. And So I just thought I would show you guys my paint pot collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please head on over to Facebook and like my page and I would love it if you liked this video too and head on over to Twitter and Facebook and Instagram. Follow me there. I'll have all the information that you need to know in the description box including what's on my face. So until next time stay safe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Mwah.